when uh, we are uh, think uh, we think about uh, a research then we say, what would be the the topic in which area we should do the study then what would be the basis uh, or uh, determinants uh, to select a good uh, uh, good thesis or the right thesis, uh, sorry or right topic in that case uh, you have to consider uh, these are the uh, factors that uh, need to be considered uh, for uh, identifying a good research topic. First, you should uh, uh, know the should not be uh, the topic should not be uh, too general. Uh, okay, uh, you have you have to narrow down uh, your uh, uh, your area. Must be from an interested discipline. Suppose uh, it should be interesting uh, to the reader, uh, for the society, for the people, and focus group. Uh, to whom you are focusing on, uh, who will be your uh, respondents from where you will collect your data. Then uh, topic of interest and importance. Uh, and a topic of inter it, it would be uh, your topic must be an interested uh, and uh, it has some uh, uh, importance uh, to the reader, to the society as well. A topic of relevance and industrial applications. It, uh, it uh, when we conduct uh, the research, the ultimate findings uh, will help uh, the manager or day-to-day uh, -day practitioners th uh, that your results, your findings can help them to uh, take uh, in, uh, it can take part of their decision-making process. Then uh, further scope, uh, possible limitations and useful to the society or industry. The research that is uh, that I am uh, considering uh, to invest my time, energy, and money, but if it is not useful for the society, for the industry, for the people, then uh, what is the uh, ultimate goal of that? That's why it must be uh, helpful or useful for the society and industry and the, and the, uh, and the world as a whole. And the novelty. Novelty means uh, your contribution, newness of your uh, of your findings. So what will be the new knowledge coming from your study? New contribution. Uh, either it uh, might be theoretical or practical, but uh, uh, your study must have the novelty or newness of the uh, of the knowledge that uh, nobody has discovered yet. Then selection of research area. Uh, it is very important when you are considering to do a research, then you should uh, uh, check yourself uh, uh, that what the capabilities you have, then what is your specialty? Suppose you are in uh, finance, you have uh, honors and masters in finance, so you should not go for HR, for marketing or accounting. It is better uh, uh, to study uh, do the research uh, in your area, in your finance area, uh, because that is your specialty and you have the in-depth knowledge in your area. And uh, second is interest. It is very important. Suppose uh, the topic is very good. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, if you are enrolled for the PhD or master's, your supervisor may be uh, uh, suggesting, okay, you uh, go to the, uh, uh, you can study to this area. But uh, you don't feel or you do not, uh, do not uh, feel any courage to uh, study in that area. So you have to uh, boldly uh, to, uh, to talk with your supervisor. Actually, I don't feel interest to do, uh, 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 to do the study in this area because uh, I don't feel enthusiasm 
uh, in this area. I am, uh, if uh, my, uh, you can give some suggestions that this area, if it is in this area, that match with my, uh, with my value system, with my uh, interest, with my desire. So uh, you have to show and boldly uh, you should uh, talk with your supervisor as well. And technical background, it is very important. Somebody has some uh, technical background. So that technical background uh, you, you can consider. Uh, so since uh, for me, act actually, uh, I did my PhD in uh, Bangladesh RMG industry, garment industry, because I, uh, I had some background. I uh, worked uh, in Bangladesh garment industry for around five years. That's why I have chosen uh, the Bangladesh ready-made garment industry as a context because I know the insights of, uh, of RMG industry. That's why. Then the experience, like me, uh, I choose uh, the RMG industry. I had the experience. I know the people. I know the workers. I know the management system. That's why if you have some experience in certain area, try to focus on that area so that you can easily understand uh, your context. Then actual need for research in this area. Uh, it is very important. Uh, uh, suppose you are uh, uh, you want to do something uh, or you want to uh, do the research, but uh, is there any really it is necessary to have uh, uh, to conduct the research or not? You need to assess uh, these things uh, before uh, conducting the research. Then, then available resources. Uh, I, actually, uh, in the time, uh, you have to consider the how I shall collect the data. Uh, I, I will get adequate uh, uh, information from this industry, from this sector or not. How will collect? You have to consider all of this uh, in the beginning of your uh, uh, in the beginning of your study or research. Then uh, in a title of the thesis or research article, you have to consider uh, these things, these elements. Number one, title must contain uh, the topic of interest and it should be uh, depend uh, uh, the you, uh, in your title, dependent variable must be there because uh, dependent variable is your problem and uh, you, uh, you want to solve this problem. So uh, you're the, uh, the variable of dependent variable must be in your title. Uh, for a study of finance, suppose mention the year. In the case of uh, if you are in fin uh, finance specialization, if you are, uh, uh, your mind is to do your study in financial performance of any organization, then you have to mention the year from which year to which year you will collect uh, your observation or uh, your data uh, was measuring. Then maximum 15 to 18 words uh, for a good title. It should not be like a paragraph. Uh, the, word, uh, the wording of title, it should be 15 to 18 words. And title may be uh, split into two parts. Uh, it is not necessarily a, a title should be in one sentence, not necessarily. it can be two parts and not uh, go over three, four sentences. No, it is uh, one sentence or two sentence. It is enough. Uh, it, uh, it should reflect the research framework. Actually, the title, the framework is the main thing uh, that would uh, re represent uh, uh, the title, research question, research objective, everything, uh, research hypothesis, all the variables would be, all the relationships uh, would be there. So uh, your uh, your title should reflect your research framework and framework also represent uh, the title as well. So this is suppose an, uh, a professional title uh, like this, would be like this. Suppose uh, uh, the effect of social compliance on employee productivity mediating role of employee work motivation in ready-made garment industry. Uh, here, if we consider this, the social compliance, uh, maybe uh, this word is new to uh, you. Actually, social compliance means uh, uh, it is a process of implementing uh, uh, a labor law, uh, co company own policy and buyer's code of conduct. Uh, so that is called the social compliance. So uh, it related with uh, the working hours, uh, uh, safety and uh, health and safety of the workers, work environment, uh, no child labor. So 
a lot of issues are in uh, related with social uh, compliance so the effect of this social compliance on employee productivity is there any relationship is there any effect so uh, employee productivity is the problem uh, is the is the problem that's why it is called dependent variable so uh, uh, we say uh, shortly we say it is dv and this is called the iv independent variable social compliance is the independent variable and employee productive is uh, productivity is the dependent variable what is the effect of this independent variable on the dependent variable employee, employee productivity then another is mediating role of employee work uh, work motivation in ready made garment industry of bangladesh so we have another kind of uh, uh, variable here that is called mediating variable mediating variable is employee work motivation so how uh, this uh, uh, employee work motivation working as a mediating factor in uh, between social compliance and employee productivity in ready made garment industry of bangladesh so uh, uh, it has it is representing uh, number 1 independent variable number 2 dependent variable number 3 uh, uh, mediating variable and we have the context uh, in which area we have studied uh, so that is the ready made garment industry of bangladesh so it is the context context of the industry and it is the mediating variable it is the de dependent variable and it is the independent variable social compliance so a uh, a social science research actually social science research we observe the cause and effect relationship this is the cause social compliance is the cause and employee productivity is the result uh, uh, or you can say uh, your dependent variable uh, what is the effect on uh, th this uh, cause of uh, social compliance so uh yeah cause is the independent variable and where the effect is done that is called dependent variable so a professional title uh, it must have the dependent variable independent variable mediating uh, variable or if you have the moderating variable that you can also consider in your uh, title and the context that is uh, 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 this is called a professional title sometimes uh, when we review Uh, the uh, review the certain articles uh, the uh, review uh, from different journals then immediately sometimes uh, it is very difficult uh, to understand their uh, their title and uh, this title is representing uh, which body of uh, study so uh, we don't uh, uh, if the your title not uh, pro pro professional Uh, so it is very difficult to uh, what is uh, about uh, what is the insight of this uh, paper it is very difficult so a professional title which uh, will represent each and every aspects of uh, a briefly each and every aspects of insight of that uh, research